This earlier on News 4 at 5, we told you how Washington University researchers are finding major neurological issues pertaining to COVID. Now only our Jenna Ray looks at the long hauler symptoms and how scientists believe there could be a connection between COVID and Alzheimer's. I get very worried and I'm very worried that there's this uptick will then lead to more individuals having cognitive issues who will be seeing me. Dr. Bo Ansis runs a COVID-19 research lab at Washington University. His focus, long haul COVID side effects. Headaches, fevers, loss of taste or smell, or brain fog or concentration issues. Dr. Ansis says he's seeing neurological side effects lasting for months at a time in nearly 70% of patients who test positive for COVID. Could this be almost a nidus or could this be one of those sparks that could then lead to changes downstream that eventually could lead to Alzheimer's disease. I think the jury is still out. We don't know about that enough. In a virtual conference last week, doctors from across the world weighed in on their research of possible links between COVID-19 and cognitive issues. People with dementia were twice as likely to get COVID. We saw persistent you know, persistent sim symptoms as well as brain actual, you know, changes. And we saw acceleration of those changes. The Alzheimer's Association says those patients are more likely to get COVID because of a lack of following COVID-19 preventable mitigations. These doctors are now urging folks who had COVID to pay attention to things like headaches or fatigue. It could be the start of a long haul side effect. They're not alone and that there are uh, places such as our COVID clinic at, at Washington University in St. Louis, where then those individuals who have neurological issues are referred to us. And so that there is this kind of care and there is this kind of safety net so that they feel comfortable and that they can come in and get evaluated. Dr. Ansis says the best way to either avoid or subside these long haul side effects is to get vaccinated. I've seen a number of individuals have been vaccinated after they've been vaccinated. They've had improvements as well too. In St. Louis, Jenna Ray, News 4.